Snap, snap, snap. Pop. Stand here. Hey there, welcome to the Electron X channel. In this video, I'm going to do an example of showing you how a voltage source to current source conversion can make solving a circuit, figuring out what's happening in a circuit, much easier. So what we have here are two parallel voltage sources with a 50, each has a 50 ohm internal resistance connected over to this load resistor that has a, a that's a 10 ohms. And what we want to do is figure out what is the voltage across that resistor and also what is the current through that resistor. Now our typical tools of figuring out equivalent series and equivalent parallel resistors won't work here because we don't actually have any resistors that are in series or in parallel. But one tool that we can use is convert these sources, this voltage source here and this voltage source here, into the equivalent current source. And, and just what that's going to look like will be this. So that voltage source can be converted into a current source with its parallel resistor. And the value of the current from this current source is 5 volts over 50 ohms, which is 0 0.1 amps. So that's the conversion of this voltage source to a current source. We can do the exact same thing with the other current source. It's identical, so it'll also be a 0.1 amp and have a 50 ohm parallel resistor internal to it. And then what we've done, we've converted this part of the circuit to here. All we have left over is the load. So the load resistor, the 10 ohm resistor, is connected over here. And now you can see we have a 10 ohm resistor in parallel with a 50 ohm resistor in parallel with a 50 ohm resistor. So we can use our parallel combination of those resistors to find out what the total resistance is. And we can see that we've got two current sources that are drive, each driving 0.1 amps into the same node here. So the total current that's going to be coming out of that node is, is going to be 0.2 amps. I can redraw this, combining those current sources and these resistors. So those two current sources can combine together. That's not what I want in there. To give me 0.2 amps. And those resistors can also combine together to give me the equivalent of 50 ohms in parallel with 50 ohms in parallel with 10 ohms. And if I go through that calculation, 1 over 50 plus 1 over 50 plus 1 over 10, and then the inverse of that, I come up with 7.14 ohms. Now remember, this, this equivalent resistor is the resistor is, uh, is in parallel with that 10 ohm resistor. So the voltage across that is the load voltage. And we can figure out pretty easily what the load voltage is. If you have 0.2 amps from the source going through this equivalent 7.14 ohm resistor, multiply those two numbers out and we come up with 1.43 volts. And so going back to the original circuit, if we've now figured out that we have 1.43 volts across the load, very easy now to figure out what the current is through that load. 1.43 volts across the resistor. It's a 10 ohm resistor. And that gives me 0 0.143 amps. So 0.143 amps is going to be going through the load. So overall what we did, we converted the source, the voltage sources into current sources, combined current sources to give me one overall source, combined resistors in the circuit to give me one overall resistance, figured out the voltage, and then calculated the current. Very simple. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.